For the last month, my family, nine of us, has been living off-grid in this cabin. During that time, our entire power needs have been met by these portable power stations. So I've been getting a lot of questions about this and even some accusations that we are not, in fact, using only portable power stations. So in this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about what we're using for power, what units, what sizes they are. I'm going to tell you how long it took us to set them up initially, how much effort they take daily to run. I'm going to give you a cost breakdown. So I'm going to tell you how much the unit costs, the solar panels and what we get from it. I'm also going to tell you what I would do if I was not a YouTuber, because obviously we get these portable power boxes sent to us and they're free. So of course we're running our life off the portable power boxes. But what would I do if I had spent my own money on each of these boxes? And as you may already know, we have partnered with Jackery. They have sponsored us. They're helping to create these videos. Uh, so we're going to go through all this data first, just the raw data. You can decide whether or not you think it's right for you. Finally, I'm going to tell you why, despite using a lot of different brands and trying them out, we have switched to using 100% just Jackery in our off-grid cabin. Now, before we dive into the data and how we're running our life off portable power stations, I want to tell you, if you're here for our normal weekly video about what we're doing off grid, this series following our adventure here, next week we're going to be releasing an awesome video which shows the first two weeks of our family off grid. So that video is still coming, but I've been getting a ton of questions about this off grid solar system and what we're actually using and you know how we're running everything. So today I want to show everything we're doing, how we're using it, what we're doing when the sun isn't shining, I'm gonna get into all the off-grid solar details. When we came to Alaska, a lot of different companies said, hey, take our portable power station, we test it out, share it with your audience. And so that's what we've been doing. We've been testing out different companies, different boxes, different sizes. And as of today, up top, you'll see that solar panel array up top on my balcony. That is running a Jackery Explorer 5000. That's our biggest portable power station. It can do five kilowatt hours or 5,000 watts. Our 5,000 watt system runs the lights in the cabin. We have globe lights and some LED bars, which are really bright, runs those all day. It runs our fan at night to keep the cabin cool if it's hot at night. It runs our internet. It runs our freezers. We have a big giant chest freezer with all our halibut and salmon and farm fresh meat that we brought with us. And we use it to recharge our devices. So our phones, all our communication devices, our tablets. During the day, the sun is recharging it. So it keeps everything powered throughout the day. The solar array that you see there is two Jackery 500 X's. So there they do 500 watts combined. That's a thousand watt solar panel array that goes into our Jackery 5000. So on a bright sunny day like this, you're getting about a thousand watts at best. Next, we have the Jackery 3000, which, which is actually over there in the trailer that we converted to come here to Alaska. That's connected to a 200 watt solar panel, which is up on the roof, which you've seen us install in previous videos. Inside our cargo trailer conversion that we came here to Alaska with, this is actually where I have my office set up. So where I do all the editing for Homesteady, I run my business, we have the internet in here, we have a computer in here, and we're running our power tools off of this setup here as well. All that stuff is being taken care of by the Jackery Home Power 3000. We don't have a ton of power draw from this system, so that tends to keep that topped off if it's good and sunny. It's on the top of the trailer, so it's getting a lot of sun throughout the day directly to the top. And finally, I have two Jackery 2000 boxes. One of them that you see sitting right there, and you, I'll explain why you only see one of them right now. And that's hooked up to two 200 watt solar panels. And these panels we have not attached to the cabin, they're loose because as the sun moves throughout the day, we can move these panels to follow the sun. And if you do that, you get a lot more solar power if you track the sun with your panels. So what we do is we take one of these units inside of the cabin and use it while the other is outside getting maximum solar power and then we swap them. So this guy right now, today it's bright, beautiful day. He's at 15%. By the end of today, this guy will be fully charged. We'll bring him in and take the other one outside. These run our kitchen. So 
We have an air fryer. We have a stove with an electric start. We have kitchen appliances and things. All of our kitchen work and then anything that needs power in the kitchen, this unit takes care of. Some of our water systems need a little bit of power. It also powers our instant hot water system. So this unit swapped with the other one every day takes care of the kitchen and the instant hot water in the cabin and it's working great. Now, I have to mention this because it's honestly part of our setup. In addition to those four power boxes and solar panels, we do have now a gas power generator. After we had been here for a couple weeks, it started to get cloudy and rainy. And at that point we were running out of power. So we got ourselves a gas power generator. And when the sun isn't shining, We'll fire that gas power generator up for about an hour and a half to two hours in the morning. It will run, it will charge two or three of those boxes in that period of time, top them off, then we kill the gas power generator and the rest of the day we have peace and quiet running off of the portable power stations. Okay, let's talk about how long it took to set up all these different systems. If you were to get them, how long it would take you to set this stuff up. The Jackery 5000 took us three hours to set up. Most of that time went to the solar array. We mounted it to our balcony, so that took a little bit of time. The big unit, we rolled up to it, plugged in the solar panels, and that was that. That one was about three hours of work for a 5000 watt system. The Jackery 3000 took us the longest to set up, but that's because we set it up to our trailer. So that took me about a day's worth of work. The 2000 watt boxes, those took no time at all. We opened up the boxes, put the panels on the ground and they were off and running. And as you see, our setup, they're just set up and we rotate them around. So that took like no time at all. Now that was the initial setup. Let's talk about how much time every day we spend running each of these individual systems. This system is the easiest system of all. It takes zero work a day on a sunny day for me to run this. This is a temporary solution. We eventually are going to install on this cabin a very big, PV array. We put this up not to maximize watts in, but rather to get it up fast. These are mounted vertically. On a bright sunny day, they get sun. It goes inside to our main system. The 5,000 watt power box inside is already hooked up to everything we need it hooked up to. But this system overall takes me no time at all. How about the 3,000? This system also takes zero time a day to maintain. The solar panel is up on the roof. I have it wired to the unit on the inside. Every day it's sunny, it's running, it takes me no time of day. The only system that actually requires daily effort is our 2000 watt boxes. So those two systems are out of the rain and don't require any real care. This system, the 2000s, every day I come outside in the morning and I plug one of these units in. And then somewhere midday when that unit is charged, I swap them. So we're charging one unit while using the other one. And that swap the two. I take this one inside and now I can use this unit while that guy is charging all day. So it takes exactly this amount of time every day to run this system. Okay, let's talk about cost. The 5,000 watt system right now is retailing at $4,499 with that 1,000 watt solar array. The 3,000 watt system is retailing for $2,500. And if you want to put one 200 watt solar panel with it, it's another $479. 2,000 watt system is selling right now for $2,500 with the solar panel. So you get two of those, it's $5,000, and you can do what we do, which is run the two panels on the one unit and swap. All in all, we're getting 12,000 kilowatt hour system with 1,600 watts of solar panels for about $13,000. If you compare that to the PV system that we are going to be installing soon in the future with a big battery bank, our PV array and our battery bank is gonna give us about 30 kilowatt hours, which is more than double. And it's gonna give us 8,000 watt solar panels, which is compared to the 1600 in this system. So that's a lot more watts on solar panels. That system is 16,000 and change. So the power boxes are more money than a 
PV array with a battery bank that you install. The trade-off is they are very quick to set up, get running, and they are very user-friendly. Now, if you compare the cost of the power station system to grid power, our families, on average, our bill for power back in our farm in Pennsylvania was about 500 bucks a month, which was a lot. It would take about two years of us using these power stations for them to have offset their own cost of grid power. And at that point, we would be getting free power from the sun. So the portable power stations are more expensive than setting up a PV array and a battery bank, that is for sure. When you first arrive to your off-grid cabin, there's probably some things that you wanna get done right away, run your power tools, set up some stuff before you go and set up a big PV array. My PV array system, I'm, I'm estimating is gonna take me about a week to get all set up and running. These are set up in a couple of hours and I have been living off of them with my family for a month now and it's taking care of all our needs with a little bit of a gas generator backup. But of course, everybody's not a YouTuber. What would I do if I was not a YouTuber? I get these power boxes given to me for free. So I've been able to try them out and test them out. And they've been really, really good tools, but they are not the most cost effective method to powering everything at my cabin. So I wouldn't have bought all these different units. Instead, I would pick the best one, the best bang for the buck and use that until I set up my bigger system. What would that be? I was thinking a lot about this question. If I had to buy this system, if I had to buy these units, which one would I have bought myself if I were to do it in the future? And initially I was thinking I would go with the Jackery 2000s, swapping them out. They're very nimble and flexible. Having two boxes is great. Two is one, one is none. One can be charging while one's inside being used. They set up instantly. And when you go in the future and set up a bigger PV system, well, you can use these camping, you can use these in your car. It's almost perfect, but there is one tiny problem with this unit where if you're gonna do the off-grid thing like us, I actually think I would go with the 3000. And let me show you what that is. Let's take this to the porch. This, this is the one issue with the 2000 watt system if you're going off-grid and you have a lot of work to do. The chop saw. When we were doing our first videos on these portable power boxes, we tested everything out on the chop saw because this requires a lot of power and we're using this a ton here off grid and not just the chop saw, the plug-in drills. There's a lot of construction work to be done here on this cabin and you need heavy duty power to do that. It doesn't have the big power surge that the chop saw needs. It trips when you require a really big power surge. So if you're going to an off-grid cabin and you're not doing construction, or if you just want some backup for your home, these are great. But if you're going to be doing heavy duty construction at that point, you're going to need to step up to the 3000. The 3000 can handle the chop saw. No problem. The power drill, everything. No problem. Oh, didn't see the cat there. That could have been bad. We use this thing to power our off-grid trailer. It can do 240 as well as 120. It's a really good mid-size unit. And if I were to pick just one, buy it with my own money to get my off-grid project going, I think this is the one I would pick. Now, if you're still watching, why have I settled on Jackery over the other power stations that we brought with us? Okay, so since we came off-grid, we have tested out many different companies' power boxes. And honestly, we've seen some good ones and we've seen some not so good ones. What, the reason why is the Jackery units I find to be the least amount of trouble. They don't trip as much as the others. They work better. They work with cords and different, different things. I have the least amount of trouble with the Jackery units. Some of the other units I have much more problems with. They are the most efficient. I can charge this up to 100% and then walk away from it, leave it not powering anything. And when I come back, there'll be about 97% of battery left. Some of the units you charge it up at the beginning of the day, you don't use it. And they're down to like 50% or worse at the end of the day. They, they lose power throughout the day, maintaining their system. Jackery has built in features. I really like, for example, the light when you're off grid and you're trying to like find stuff and, and plug something in, you don't have a light switch to flick on in your cabin. Being able to just turn on a light is just such a nice feature. They have a lot of really intuitive built-in features that I like. They are not perfect. 
there are a few things I don't love about the Jackery. I find uh, the app to be kind of glitchy. The other thing, uh, all their solar panels, you have to have their special cables. You can't use just the regular solar panel cables. So that's kind of a uh, downside. It'd be nice if they would just use regular solar panel cables. But the flip side is you have a unit that works fantastic and is very efficient, very user-friendly and has the least amount of problems. I'm willing to try other companies' power boxes. I will still test other ones out to see how they do. And like I mentioned, some of the ones that we had are also other brands have been good, but overall the Jackeries have been the best and we wanted to just simplify and run one kind of system in the cabin. So we decided to go with the Jackeries. They're all good for something. If I had a smaller family and not a lot of power needs, I would actually just get a 5,000 watt system and that would be it for the cabin. I wouldn't get a bigger system. But as you can see, I have a big family and we have a lot of power needs. So in the future, we will be building, actually very soon, we're gonna start building our big PV array and our battery bank. And we'll share that on the channel as well. But I really like the one-two punch of arriving to your cabin, having some portable power stations to get you started, and then over time upgrading to a bigger PV array system that does more for you, especially as you're heading into fall and winter, which it's not here yet, let's not rush it, but it is coming.